This is the 2021 Vitus Escarp, and I've got five things that I think you need to know about this brand new bike. Hi, it's Rachel here from Offroad CC, and if you've watched our videos before or been onto our website, then you'll know that we like testing bikes that are more towards the budget end of the scale. Not that that means we aren't testing the latest and greatest new bikes, but more that we will test the base spec model rather than the most expensive one. And it's the same with this latest 2021 Fias Escarp. We've got the Escarp CR29 on test, which comes in at £2,000 but a penny. And in terms of a first look of this bike, I'm going to tell you about five things that I think you need to know. So we'll jump straight in with number one. This bike gets new and updated geometry. So it's a 140mm trail bike, which is wildly more progressive than the previous bike, so the 2020 bikes. This one's got a 65 degree head angle and a 77 degree effective seat tube angle. And that's when this bike is paired with a 150mm fork. The frame reach is pretty roomy, so it's 451mm on this medium bike. And all of that, I reckon, adds up to what should be a good descender as well as a good bike to climb on. I've got to say this bike is box fresh and I've not ridden it yet, but I will be soon and I'm really looking forward to it. As well as more progressive geometry, there's also a flip chip in the frame. So that allows riders to alter their head angle by 0.5 degrees and that also lifts or lowers the bottom bracket, depending on which way you alter it, by 6mm. And just as their friends have over at Nuke Proof, Vias have made the seat tube angle steeper as you go up the size range. So they reckon it's optimal for each rider height as the bikes get larger and larger. The last thing to note on the seat tube, and kind of to do with geometry, but more to do with shorter seat tubes, the redesign has taken into account the need for longer dropper posts. So there's now greater seat post insertion. And on the small bikes, there's 150mm dropper post fitted. And then the medium, like this one, gets a 170mm dropper. And the large and extra large models get a 200mm Brand X dropper post. There's also a new suspension layout. So Vitus has gone back to a fixed lower shock mount. And they say that that allows for the new flip chip. They also say it has allowed them to refine the leverage curve. So they say they're now providing a more progressive leverage curve for a more consistent feel. If you can remember the 2020 bikes and back away, they had a shock which went through the seat tube and then inserted onto the chain stays. The horse link they're using now is now cleaner in looks and it's ready with a new leverage curve to accept a coil shock if you wanted to fit one. The bikes now also only come with carbon frames and that doesn't mean they're super expensive either. So all bikes in the Escarp range get a carbon front triangle and an alloy rear end. Now that alloy rear end is one of the ways that the brand have managed to provide that carbon front triangle and keep the prices down. Vita say they've also managed costs by sharing the front end with the new Summit, so for the like to like wheel sizes. They have also saved a bit of dollar by providing internal cable routing, but it's not a tube in tube internal routing. It does, however, get um, a threaded bottom bracket and there's larger bearings in the frame itself that should be more long lasting. And there's a universal SRAM UDH mech hanger, plus some chunky frame protection on the bottom of the down tube and on the chainstay. The Escarp CR comes in this spec of our Marzocchi Bomber Z2, a RockShox Deluxe R Shock and Shimano Dior 12 speed, all for $19.99. Or if you wanted to spend more, you can get the CRS version of the bike with a Pike Fork and a Deluxe Select Plus Shock and Shimano 12 speed SLX. And that all comes in at £2,699. The top spec CRX bike gets a cost of £3,499 and comes with a Fox 36 factory fork, 
a Fox Float DPS shock and Shimano XT 12, 12 speed all round. Number four, all bikes come in all specs in both wheel sizes. There's not much else to add here. So all of the bikes in the three specs that I've just talked about come in both wheel sizes of 27.5 and 29er, meaning that you can find one to suit both your budget and your wheel size. It's interesting to see a brand not stick to just one size of wheel, especially on this 140mm trail bike. So where other brands such as Specialized with their new Stump Jumper, which is 130mm, they've gone down just the 29er route, whereas Vitus are saying you can have either or. So number five, and that's last but not least, if you want a similar bike to this, but with more travel, then you can buy the Vitus Summit. Today's also the launch of that Summit bike and that has 162 mils of rear travel and it's paired with a 170 mil fork. It gets all of the same upgrades as this Escarp. It's still carbon front triangle, so carbon front alloy rear, and it comes in both 27.5 or 29er wheel sizes. The prices for that one start at £2,399 and top out at £3,599. There's more information and photos about both of those bikes over on www.off.road.cc now and there's also a full first look of this bike too. As I said, I'm going to get on and ride and test this bike so keep an eye out on our website for a full review really soon. Thanks very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you get notifications of when we release our weekly video. See you next time.